Hello, this is Goku Portison One back here with a lost video. This time it's going to be my first thoughts on the Superman reboot and what I want them to do with the movie. Okay, first of all is I don't necessarily think it should have been rebooted. I think that the last movie they made was bad because they didn't do the right things. And they had the right idea. Get rid of 3 and 4. And continue from there. The problem is. is They did. Is that they went with the original concept of the first two. And they tried to make a direct sequel. And that was bad because the first two were good for, good for what they were. But Lex Luthor was not that good in the movies as what he is today. He's better in the comics than what he is in that movie. Superman does not have the best, best rogues gallery of all the characters. I think that's Batman second by Spider-Man. But looking at all the rogues galleries of all the characters, he has one of the better ones. Um, because his characters are very iconic and very good. The problem is, is everybody knows Lex Luthor. The other characters aren't as well known. Thus, they try to make movies based on Lex Luthor. And you can use Lex Luthor in every single movie. If you use him as a secondary villain. If you use him as a person who is... creating the mayhem, but not doing it himself. Um, I don't think he works as well when he's, be when he's putting on a battle suit or when he's uh, putting kryptonite to Superman. But there are villains that do work as bigger villains of Superman. Um, Superman's powerful. He's extremely powerful of a character. So, the villains that you have to use have to be equally as powerful. Because Superman does have a couple of villains that are not equally as powerful as he is. Not considering Lex Luthor. Because Lex Luthor, when he needs to be powerful, can be. Because he has uh, science at his disposal. But I'm talking about more like Toy Man off the top of my head, um, and there are a couple other ones that are just not really powerful, they're more of a menace. They don't use kryptonite necessarily, but they're more of a menace. Um, Parasite is powerful, but not one of his more powerful ones. Um, so, Zod was great number two, and his goonies. That worked, because that was a threat that Superman might not have been able to beat. Um, that was something more powerful than he was. Um, three Kryptonians versus one. Um, so going on that line, there are at least five very good villains they could use, and in this order. Um, first one being Brainiac, I think is the most likely and the best. The second one being Bizarro, um, either alternate dimension or clone Bizarro. Doesn't matter if you want to use Lex Luthor, go with the clone. I want to talk more in detail later about this. Um, Metallo. Very good, very powerful villain. Um, then we have Doomsday. Now, there's a lot they could do with Doomsday. Talk about that later. And finally, Darkseid. I don't know much about Darkseid, so I'm probably not going to talk about Darkseid a little bit later. But now, let's talk Let's talk more into detail about each of these villains. And starting with Brainiac. Brainiac happens to be my favorite Superman villain of all time. Because I like the idea of... Superman be uh, fighting somebody who's not only s tougher than he is, but smarter than he is. And um, uh, Superman is usually in a very bad situation when he's fighting Brainiac. Because Brainiac is this all-powerful villain. Um, pretty very, very, very powerful. He's not all-powerful, but he's extremely powerful. And um, he's also fought the Just League and done very well against them. So he is this extremely powerful villain. And he's so hard to beat. Um, and he wants to take over the... Or he doesn't want to take over the world. He wants to gather all information and destroy the uh, entire universe. He wants to... And I like that. I, I like a being who wants to do something simply to do... Uh, like has a goal. And their goal is... Now we have Bizarro. As I said, you can do... Several different things with Bizarro. Bizarro's, Bizarro, to me, is a very interesting villain because um, he's a clone, but he's an idiot. 
but he is as powerful as Superman, so Superman usually does outsmart him. But he usually has Lex Luthor telling him what to do, so that kind of gives him a little bit more intelligence, because he has somebody with intelligence um, orchestrating his moves, and that could be great in a movie. And now we have Metello. Metello, on the other hand, um, isn't very smart. He's a thug. He, but now has metal implanted and has a kryptonite heart. So you, you, yet again, you're going with kryptonite, but you're going with kryptonite in a different way, and I think it works. Um, and he's powerful, and he can take on Superman. Then we have the villain who killed Superman. Doomsday. Doomsday is extremely powerful. Doomsday is an alien, uh, an alien creation that was created and then blasted to Earth, and he is just so powerful. Superman has trouble beating him. Um, and I like that. I like Doomsday for what he is and for how powerful he is. He's massively powerful, and he could be great in a film. He could be a great action film. Um, not a very smart film, per se, but a very good action film. And then, finally, we have Darkseid. Darkseid has an entire planet. You can do great things with that. Don't know much about Darkseid, but you can do a lot with Darkseid. Okay, now let me get more into what I think they should do. I would go with Brainiac. I think it's about time they make a Brainiac movie, and um, my opinion is completely biased. I'm not going to go out of my way and say that. Um, with Batman, my bi my opinion was not biased. My opinion was basically that I think it's time for them to do certain heroes, um, and I didn't go with my favorites. I particularly went with who I think would be best, and this is completely biased. I want Brainiac in a film, and I want him done well, and I want him done good. I think that if they do him in a film, you can do Brainiac well can do all the CG and have him look like a robot and you can do wonderful things with him and um Brainiac's a villain I would actually want to see in multiple films not and not coherent uh not simultaneously like I wouldn't want to see him in one film and the next film have Brainiac and the next one but I would want to see him in multiple films over time and I would want them to build this character because they can do things with Brainiac and you can also have him team up with various villains um, including Lex Luthor. Now, obviously, he's playing Lex Luthor, and he's not really on the side of Lex Luthor because he's on the side of himself. You can do stuff with that. Um, and that's what I think they should do. Um, now, what we know, before I go out, what we know is that they are making a reboot of Superman, and that Christopher Nolan, the director of The Dark Knight, um, is having an I think an executive producer role I think that's the closest thing they're calling it a godfather role kind of like he's overseeing things but I think it's going to be more like an executive producer role um, I don't think he's going to have a lot of control over it I think he's just there to make sure it's done well and I'm happy I want a good Superman movie we haven't had one since the 80s we need another good Superman movie this is Goku Fortison 1 please leave a comment or a video response see you next time YouTube